come back on here. Let me fix my do. Uh, so, uh, this video is going to be about how to have fun in college while busting your rump, while still working hard, making straight A's, making straight A's and B's. Um, and yeah, like I said, still having a good time. A lot of folks think that the nerds just stay in their room and just had their nose in the book the whole time. I was a nerd in college and I still had a great time. Uh, I went to everything. When I say everything, 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 everything. So um, definitely want to give some tips on how you can still have a wonderful time in college um, while still hitting those books. All right, so I have 17 tips here. So let's see if we can get through all of them. First tip is to take your classes either all in the morning or all in the evening or um, evening to afternoon. So for example, um, a typical day for me while I was in college was at from about seven to two is when I took all of my classes. I didn't have any classes at the two o'clock. Um, at two-ish, 2.30ish, 2 I would go to the gym, work out for 30 minutes. Then I would go straight to the cafeteria, eat my basically like an early dinner. And then for the rest of the evening, I would study. I tried to set up my schedule to where I only had classes Monday through Thursday and none on Friday. If I had a class on Friday, it would be a class, not a whole bunch, because I knew I was getting ready for the weekend to party, party, hardy, hardy, hardy. So that's the whole point is setting up your schedule to where you have time to bust the books open all during the week. And then on weekend, you can do whatever you want. In college, most of the parties are from Thursday to Sunday. You have little events that go on during the week, um, maybe a probate show or a talent show or something like that. So every, you know, college is different, but that's pretty much how it was at the university that I attended. So don't play yourself thinking that I'm going to wake up super early and I'm going to get all my classes done in the morning. If you're not a morning person, do not set yourself up for failure by having classes in the morning. Go ahead and have your evening classes. And the caveat to this is if you're at a small university, then you might not have the option to just have evening classes, morning classes. You got to pick whatever is available because there might be a limited number of teachers on that campus that offer that class. So keep that in mind when you're selecting a college you want to go to. If you want to go to a large major university or a smaller one, that's going to affect your options. Okay. Tip number two, um, which I already said, don't have any classes on Friday. Tip number three, you'd better eat. Okay. You need to eat, 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 eat. A lot of people be starving in college. You would not believe how many students don't even have a meal plan. Um, they don't have any food in their fridge. If they have one in their dorm, um, they, their parents basically just dropped them off and said, good luck. So you need to make sure that you have some means of being able to eat because food is fuel. If you starving like Marvin, you're not going to be paying attention to class. Um, if you starving like Marvin, you sitting outside of the cafeteria bumming for somebody to let them um, into the cafeteria with them to use their, um, their car to get in there and eat something. So please, please, please um, make sure you have some means of getting food. Um, worst case scenario, you might have to go to a food bank or something right along with that is you need to exercise, which I mentioned earlier. I tried to exercise every single day. Um, that wasn't always an option, but make sure that you exercise to stay fit, to stay healthy. Um, you're going to do a lot of walk in the class and, um, that helps, but it's not the same as actually getting in really good exercise. Go to study hall, study labs, study groups, whatever you call it at your school. Make sure you have other folks to study with. Yes, I know a lot of people like to study on their own, but it is helpful to have other people to study with because they might have better notes than you, okay? Uh, the next tip that I have is to do the extra credit um, and ask for extra credit. So these are two tips in one. You'd be surprised how often folks don't like, just don't even pay attention to the TA. The TA could be your best friend. You could ask them for help. Um, they might be able to give you extra credit. Okay, so you want to make sure you review the material before you go to the class. So if the teacher gives out a syllabus at the beginning of the semester, go ahead and get ahead of the work. Um, do everything in advance if you can, whether it's through papers, quizzes, tests, whatever. Do it all in advance so that way you're ahead of everyone else. And that's another way to quickly, um, this ties to the other video that I did. This is why I said there's so many tips. I probably would sprinkle them in through our other videos I do. But this is another pro tip. Um, if you want to finish early, go ahead and get ahead in some of your classes. Um, by doing the work in advance. So review the material before class um, and get ahead by doing the work before it's even due. Um, the benefit of reviewing the material before you go to class is that you can go to class prepared with your questions. So if there's like a difficult, say it's a math class and say there's a difficult equation that you don't understand, you can go ahead and get the answer while you're in class. Okay, get an explanation of how to do it and then you might know how to do the other problems for the class.
So that's something I used to do all the time. Also, it's a way to um, help out your peers who might be struggling and they're, they might have the same questions as you. Uh, next tip is to, <laughs> for as far as how you study, use some type of um, uniform format for your studying, whether it's using um, the highlighting method, making flashcards, reading out loud, which, and while you're re reading out loud while you're studying, um, what I did was I did a combination of highlighting and reading out loud. So as I would read a chapter, I would highlight it and I would read it out loud to myself. Also, if I was writing something, I would write it and talk out loud um, as I was writing it, uh, writing out whatever the notes were, whatever the case may be. And then when I would go back to look at it, I would read it out loud again. So that was my method. Find something that works for you. Just remember, just remember to do it um, in all of your classes. Befriend people that you would never normally talk to. College is like one of the few opportunities where you get to meet people from all over the world, um, meet people from different socioeconomic backgrounds, and get to meet people from different cultures, religions, whatever the case may be. So take advantage of that. Um, talk to people you normally wouldn't talk to. Get off your phone. Stop looking down as you walk into class. Talk to the people in your class that you're sitting next to. Start a conversation. Um, don't be shy. Don't be afraid because especially freshman year, everybody is scared. Okay. So you sitting there waiting to go to class, talk to that person in the bookstore, talk, whatever, just go out, be on campus, stay on campus as much as you can. Um, that's how you probably make most of your friends is by just random conversations you might have waiting in the line at Starbucks, waiting for class to start, waiting for a teacher to come in, going to those study labs, um, in the library, whatever the case it be, don't be afraid to talk to people. Get off your phone, get off your phone, get off your phone, get off your phone. Um, talk to people in real life, okay? Um, to tie to that, join clubs, go to different activities, go to talent shows, probate shows, go to the club, go to parties, go out. Don't be afraid to go to places by yourself. You might have to do that. You got to learn how to roll solo dolo until you make some friends. Um, that's probably the biggest regret I do have is that I did not meet people from different backgrounds. I kind of uh, only hung out with black kids. So, which is, it was fantastic. It was fun. Um, but you, it would probably have been beneficial to meet people from different groups. Um, you never know what could happen from those connections. So don't be afraid to get out your comfort zone and meet folks. Um, the biggest thing that I did that was awesome was I did join organizations um, of like-minded folks, of people that had similar interests to me. I was in a modeling troupe, um, which was awesome. It was so much fun. Um, so find something that you're interested in and find out, th find out if there's a club related to that. Even join like student government. Um, at our school, we had a campus activities board. They basically controlled who came to school to do performances and stuff. And that group of kids, they were all really tight. You would think it's just like, it's a just another student organization those kids hung out with each other all the time. So you'd be surprised the friends you can make in the different organizations that are around. Well, even if it's the kids that do like the radio station, there's something for everybody, okay? So keep that in mind. So a lot of times folks go to the beach or, you know, in Florida, I mean, that is the spring break all the time, I guess you could say. Um, so if you don't want to just do the typical beach thing, do alternative spring break. It's another way to meet like-minded folks. One of my friends, that's what she did every spring break. I think that's pretty much all I have, yeah. So. Um, if I think of anything else, I'll make another video. Uh, so hopefully somebody finds this helpful. If you know any young folks that are going to college that need help with this kind of stuff, please pass this video on to them. Um, hope everyone is having a wonderful week post Thanksgiving and I will holler at y'all later.